Hi, I'm Shane Kale with SCM Connections. In today's part of our Get Smart series, I'm going to walk you through the demand planning bill of materials functionality in IBP. This functionality allows you to forecast dependent demand for products that are commonly sold together. For example, you could forecast the dependent demand for strawberry jelly sales based on the demand for jars of peanut butter. For the demonstration today, I'm going to use the example of a hardware store, where we're going to derive the forecast for boxes and nails based on the forecast for hammers. In this example, I have a 22 ounce hammer and a 28 ounce hammer, and I'd like to forecast sales for 1000 count box and nails based on the sales for these hammers. So for every 22 ounce hammer that is purchased, a box of nails will also be purchased 10% of the time. And for a 28 ounce hammer, a box of nails will be purchased alongside it 20% of the time. To illustrate this example, let's say I plan to sell 122 ounce hammers and 328 ounce hammers. Then my dependent demand would be 10 boxes of nails for the 22 ounce hammers and 60 boxes of nails for the 28 ounce hammers, giving me a total of 70 boxes of nails. From an IBP perspective, a great part of this functionality is that the system will automatically calculate the dependent demand for nails in each time bucket based on the forecast for hammers. Now let's take a look at how this functionality works in IBP. The first step of the demand planning bill of materials process in IBP is to calculate an independent demand quantity. In this example, I have customer one at location ABC Hardware purchasing two different products, 22 ounce hammers and 28 ounce hammers. You can see that the independent demand quantity for the 22 ounce hammer is 100 units per month and the 28 ounce hammer is 300 units per month. So now the next step is to go into our master data and assign an attach rate for our box of nails to each of these hammers. So for 22 ounce hammers, you can see that I've attached a 10% rate for each box of nails. And for 28 ounce hammers, I've assigned an attach rate of 20%. And this allows us to calculate our dependent demand for nails based on the independent demand for hammers. So our dependent demand calculates correctly as 70 units per month based on our attach rates for each box of nails for customer one at location ABC Hardware. So finally, we look at our total demand. I can look at the independent demand for our hammers and our dependent demand for nails, which allows us to automate the calculation for our box of nails projected for each monthly time bucket. Now beyond this example, there are other ways to utilize the demand planning bill of materials functionality in IBP. One example is you can assign attach rates to product families and product groups and other attributes in IBP beyond just the product ID. For example, you can assign attach rate of box of nails to all hammers instead of just individual hammers. Another way you can model the demand planning bill of material in IBP is that you can change your attach rates over time instead of having a static attach rate for every monthly time bucket. Finally, you can combine independent demand forecasts with dependent demand forecasts to come up with a total forecast for boxes and nails. Now, I hope you've enjoyed this video on demand planning bill of materials. Thank you very much for watching.